excise the fungal tumors, and the land may yet live. collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together we began to plant, harvest, and brew. As time wore on, her wild policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. She quaffed all manner of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions, intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. The change in her was appalling, and no longer able to stomach it, I sent her to live in the weald where her wildness would be welcomed. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Twisted and maniacal, a slathering testament to the powers of corruption.
her corpse to rot, consumed by the spores she spawned. Simple folk are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Wild whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion that even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored, and the noisome population of the hand was culled to more manageable numbers. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. A marvel of technology. An engine of destruction. Brigands are undone. Our family crest is once again a symbol of strength.
flames on the horizon. Sulfur in the air. The wolves are at the door. Fortune and hard work may yet arrest this plague. <laughs>